everybody. I did a video a couple of days ago um, to show you how to set up a cron job on an Asus router, this one here. That's been running perfectly, but what I've discovered is the cron job doesn't survive a router reboot. So after reboot, that cron job from the cron tab has disappeared. I guess that's a uh, limitation, limiting function of the uh, router's memory. But I've uh, found an easy fix for that, so I thought I'd show you how to do that. So essentially, you're going to get the router to rewrite the cron job after a reboot. And so it will be there running continuously in the background until you have another power out or reboot. So to do that, you want to use uh, WinSCP, which is the way I'm going to do that. So if you open up WinSCP, I did a tutorial on that earlier. So once that's open, uh, you're going to want to log into uh, the router. Uh, so you've already should have set up uh, the username and password. So just click on login, re-enter the password. Okay, so once you're in, you're going to want to navigate to this directory, jffs uh, forward slash scripts. Once you're in there, you're going to need to create this file, which I've already done, which is init dash start. So to create a new file, uh, on the right at the top is uh, a new button, choose new file, uh, type in there init dash start. It's important to get that spelling correct because that's a file that the router looks for after it's finished booting up. So init dash start and then press OK. Once you've created the file, you want to right click on it, go to properties. And at the bottom here, you want to make sure uh, that you've uh, G-modded this to 0755. So do that and press enter. Then inside the file, this is what's inside mine. Uh, so obviously you've got the hash uh, exclamation mark bin forward slash sh. And then I've just commented out cron jobs and I'll put all my cron jobs in here as I create them. So this is the cron job that I created in the original video. So CRU for cron space A for add. Then the next one obviously is the short name. This is a CPU temperature monitor. So I'm just calling it CPU temps. Then in speech marks, you just want to add the cron command that you want to run. So what will happen? Uh, after a reboot, the router will look in the JFFS scripts directory and it will look for start uh, init dash start and then it will do everything that you put in this file. So in this case, I've only got one cron job and that will then put the cron job back into the cron tab and it will stay there until it's next powered down or power cycle rebooted, etc. Hope that helps. It's an easy fix and uh, happy cron jobbing. See you in the next video.